Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So this is a cute little uh, Halloween design that I did. Um, I'm a practice hand and I'm sorry you're back with the same old boring music. I did try in my last video with the collaboration with Jess, I did try to um, use some Halloween sounds but then I got an email to say that um, the sounds that I've used are copyrighted so yeah, I'm just going to stick with this for now. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, try and venture out for Christmas songs and stuff like that when the time comes and try and find some that are not copyright. So yeah, um, anyway, I'm just going in here with a nude acrylic that I've got and just applying that to the full nail. And the same for this nail, again just a full nude, I love this nude but I can't remember the name of it, it is a Glitter Bells one, but I'm not sure what it's called, I can't remember but I'll put it in the description box if I, if I can remember, um, but yeah I'm just applying that to the full nail. Now on this nail I'm just coming in with Carbon Black from Glitter Bells and I'm just applying that to this full nail. Careful not to get it on the skin, especially if you're working on a client, oh my goodness, black is so hard to get off the skin. <laughs> just stains like nobody's business. So yeah, and um, try and be careful when you're working with black. I'm working a bit sloppy today because it's just on my practice hand, even though I shouldn't because it's there for practice and you're supposed to, you know, do things how you would on the client, but yeah. I'm just applying that to the full nail. I'm always, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm always tapping my brush at the sides and at the free edge to try and keep that shape. Um, Then on this nail I am coming in with Moonlight Glitter from Spark Supplies UK with some clear acrylic and I'm just fading that back up the nail. I think I uh, picked up too much glitter to acrylic here but yeah, I sorted it out anyway. And then I'm going to blend that back up the nail. Sorry I did these nails a couple of weeks ago so I'm not sure what I do on which if you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah. Okay so now I'm coming in with that Midnight Magic glitter again and I'm just fading that down the nail because I'm going to do like a glass tip effect on this nail. I just thought it looked really cute. And then I'm going to apply some little uh, holographic bats on there that are super cute from Spark Supplies UK as well. So pretty much all my glitters and crumbs and things like that are from Spark Supplies UK because they are my number one glitter supplier. Love them. Um, so yeah, look how cute these little bats are. They're super holographic as well. Love them. And then I'm going to go over like the acrylic starter to set as I was placing them on because I was faffing around that much. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just going to go over a little bit of clear acrylic just to hold them in place so that when I do come to cap, when that's all set, they won't move when I'm capping the nails. So yeah, just apply three of those little bats on this nail. 
and then I'm going to apply that Midnight Magic Glitter again and fade it down into the Moonlight Glitter on the index finger. And yeah, so I'm just going to let you watch for a minute. So now I'm coming in with these little hollow stars, super cute. Um, the pack that you get from Sparkle Supplies, you get some little, um, so these are the iridescent pack. You get some little tiny stars and then some of the bigger hollow stars that have like got a hollow in the middle, if you get what I mean. Um, but you can get holographic ones of these as well, which I've used in another set. That I might be uploading, I'm not sure yet. I have to check the footage and see what what I've got, if it's editable. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm playing them using a little bit of clear acrylic. I'm just doing it in like a little swoosh kind of down the nail. And then, yeah, while um, I can talk to you a minute, I just want to take the opportunity to say hello to all my new subscribers. Um, and also, if you do celebrate Halloween, um, please stay safe. So yeah, happy Halloween everyone. Now I'm just coming in and going to cap all these nails.
So I've just applied some glue there and I'm just gonna come in now with some crystals, all from Spark Supplies UK. So the one at the top is a little skull, AB skull crystal. How cute is he? I love him. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in with some flat back round crystals and just go down in size, down the nail kind of thing. And here I'm just matte, using a matte top coat so when it cures in the lamp it'll come out matte because I'm going to do some nail art on these nails and I prefer working on a matte background. Well it depends what mood I'm in really. So yeah I'm coming in with this little dotting tool and just creating a little body and a little head and then I'm going to put some of that Midnight Magic glitter over it to kind of do like a sugared effect. And pop that in the lamp to cure and then when it comes out you can dust it off like this so it just takes all the excess particles off and then I'm gonna paint some little legs I do cure like when I do the front legs I do cure and then do the back legs just because I am that clumsy that I would I'd smudge it so yeah I just do the little front legs to cure it do the back legs to cure them so, but I've only put glitter over the body, so I just thought that looked really cute. <laughs> Now on this nail, as you can see, I've just applied some black gel paint on my thumbnail there so I don't have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. I'm just using the other end of my nail art brush. So these are the Goddess nail art brushes, like jewel-ended um, rose gold nail art brushes. So they've got a detail on one side and a longer one on the other side. And then there's another one as well that's slightly different. It's a set of two. So yeah, they're from Nirvana Nail Supplies, if anybody is interested in buying them. <laughs> I do love them. I'm not a brand ambassador for them or anything. I just do genuinely love the products. So yeah, um, but this cobweb I'm creating. So I'm just painting these little lines and then I'm going to pop some glitter on again. Catch it in my little tray. So sprinkle it on while the gel's still wet, then tap off the excess 
and then pop it in the lamp to cure. I always double cure when I'm doing this as well just to make sure it's got enough time to penetrate through the glitter, the light. Um, and then yeah, it comes out of the lamp, dust it off with your little dusty brush like you've just seen. And then I'm just going to come in and do some little like lines to join up the little cupboard. And then I'm going to pour some glitter on that again. And then cure and then dust off the excess. And then it'll be a little glittery cobweb. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. Like, because most Halloween nails are like gory and scary now, aren't they? Where I've got two little girls, so I can't always do things like that because, yeah, my girls are two and four, so they get a bit freaked out by stuff. Whereas if it's got a bit of glitter on it, they're like, oh, mummy, I like that. So, <laughs> yeah. They'll get used to it, I suppose, as they get older. <laughs> So now I'm coming in and I am top coating all the nails that I haven't done nail art on. So yeah, the two nude nails I already matte top coated so they don't need top coating again. And so the rest of the nails I am top coating. I also put some top coat underneath that glass tip just to make it look that little bit more clear, as you can see. And then all these stars really show up now as well. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, iridescent stars. Love them. So yeah, it's coming towards the end of the video now anyway, so yeah, happy Halloween everyone. If you do celebrate it or you do go out or whatever, stay safe, enjoy yourself and I hope to see you all in my next video. <laughs> Thanks for joining guys, bye bye.